Well, it all comes down to tomorrow. The Metro Council will have their final votes on four different proposals that are key to bringing an MLS stadium and an MLS team here to Nashville. News Channel 5's Jesse Knutson is breaking down what could happen tomorrow. When an MLS franchise was awarded to Nashville last year, many thought it was a done deal, but a lot of it was contingent on getting an MLS stadium. So if the vote is approved tomorrow, then things will continue as everyone expected. But if they do not go forward, that's where things get murky. Our neighborhood needs more services, retail options, and amenities. This project accomplishes so many of those goals. The stadium at the fairgrounds is no doubt a hot button topic on both sides of the issue. Why does it have to be at the fairgrounds? One side represents people craving for Major League Soccer. Soccer is growing every day. Many of whom already support Nashville's minor league team, Nashville SC. But it's just not going to work. You can't put a thousand pounds or something in a one pound bag. On the other side, people who don't mind having soccer come to Nashville. I'm cool with it. I'm not opposed to it. But there's a lot of better places to put it. But they either don't want it at the fairgrounds or they're not happy with the deal the city made with the MLS team. I will personally be responsible to see that we follow through on our commitments. Now it's up to the Metro Council themselves. They have to vote on four things and only if they are approved will the stadium deal move forward. The first is rezoning 10 acres of the fairgrounds to accommodate a private mixed use development. Second is demolishing existing structures at the fairgrounds and instituting a ticket tax of $1.75. This vote needs to pass by more than a simple majority. It needs 27 votes and in the second reading it only received 24 votes so this is a contentious one. Third, a ground lease for the private development at the fairgrounds needs to be approved and finally issuing 50 million dollars in general obligation bonds for fairgrounds upgrades and infrastructure enhancements. This project is not good for Nashville, it's great for Nashville. No doubt there are more questions that need to be addressed before a stadium is built and an MLS team arrives in Nashville, but tomorrow's vote is crucial in Music City's MLS journey. They have found the spark! Jesse Knudsen, News Channel 5. And we will have full coverage of the MLS votes tomorrow right here on News Channel 5. And if you'd like to dig a little deeper into this topic, we have all of our coverage posted on newschannel5.com. Check it out.